Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about Wishcott Aldrich syndrome. It is one of the primary immunodeficiency disorder and it is a X-linked recessive disorder. So it is an X-linked recessive disorder. It is caused due to a mutation in a protein called VAS that is Wiscott Aldrich syndrome protein, VAS protein. So mutation in this VAS protein leads to uh, this Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. Actually this VAS protein, it controls the assembly of, so we will go into its genetics. It controls the assembly of actin filaments that are required for so the actin filaments that are required for cell migration and cell to cell interaction. Next, it impacts on the formation of immunological synapse between T cells and the antigen presenting cells. So it impacts on the formation of immunological synapse between T cell and antigen presenting cells. So this leads to a defective T cell function. So once there is a defective T cell function, it further leads to impaired B cell hemostasis. Sorry, homeostasis. So there will be a impaired B cell homeostasis. Thus, the leukocytes, this B cell, uh, the T cells and the B cells will have a reduced. So they will have a reduced phagocytic function. They have a reduced phagocytic and chemotactic function, and there also will be a defective. Uh, in the regulatory T cell functions, there will be defect in the regulatory T cell function. So, thus, this will lead on to increased susceptibility to. So, there will be an increased susceptibility to both bacterial and viral infection. Since there is a defect in the regulatory T cell function, this can lead to an autoimmune manifestation in the children. So this can cause autoimmune manifestation in children like eczema. Okay. So the genetics behind Wishcott Aldrich syndrome is this VASP protein. So since there is a mutation in this, there will be an defect in the assembly of actin filaments, thus leading to a impact in the cell migration and cell to cell interaction. So there will be a defective T cell function, which further leads to impaired B cell homeostasis, thus leading on to reduced phagocytic and chemotactic function that will lead to increased susceptibility to bacterial and viral infection and also autoimmune manifestations like eczema. So we have here the clinical manifestation of Wishcott Aldrich syndrome. So the child will present with prolonged bleeding from any incision site. So there will be a prolonged bleeding from any incision site or the child can present with bloody diarrhea during the infancy period. The child will have atopic dermatitis. Next, the child will present with recurrent infection. These are the key manifestation or the triad of Wiscott Aldrich syndrome that is bleeding with atopic dermatitis and recurrent infection. Next, what are the organism can cause these infection? So, causative organisms are capsulated organism first, such as Streptococcus pneumoniae. So, streptococcus pneumonia can cause otitis media, pneumonia and meningitis in this child. Next, other organisms that can cause uh, infections in children with Wishcott Aldrich syndrome are Nemocystis gyroveki. Next is herpes virus. 
okay so these are the main key uh, manifestation uh, features of child with wishcott aldrich syndrome next cause of death in children with wishcott aldrich syndrome are first is infection second is bleeding third will be ebv associated malignancies third will be ebv associated malignancies okay so during my pg period i have seen a child with uh, features of wishcott aldrich syndrome but i am not having the pic of that child so i have here the investigation of the child so the child presented with uh, this uh, i'll show you platelet count will be thrombocytopenic the child actually the child had bisotopenia that is hb was also low and bleeding was also present so we had the child with thrombocytopenia is the main key manifestation one next when you go to the ig profile so when you go to the ig profile or immunoglobulin profile of the child the child had low serum igm level iga and ige level was elevated this is a classic uh, feature for wishcott aldrich syndrome and there will be igg will be normal or slightly low so main features are were low igm with elevated iga and ige and normal igg so this is the main uh, investigatory finding for a children with wishcott aldrich syndrome next what is the treatment for this child first is good supportive care so good supportive care includes good nutrition immunoglobulin replacement next you can give killed vaccine for this child and management of eczema and cutaneous infections so management of eczema and cutaneous infections okay but the treatment of choice so treatment of choice for the child with wishcott aldrich syndrome is hematopoietic stem cell transplantation when a high quality matched donor is available you have to do a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation okay so this is a short topic so please like share and subscribe our youtube channel let's all learn pediatric together thank you